Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk about a brand new product that I have never heard of before or seen before. And it's a product that was sent to me to try. And so I thought I would show you guys what it is. This is kind of a first impression video. I mean, I've seen them already, but I haven't really gotten into the bag yet to kind of really see what they're all about. And so I want to do that for you now and kind of give you my first impressions and tell you about the products because I think it's kind of an interesting concept. And um, I will be wearing them soon enough. So anyway, this is what it is. I have a bag here of three. They're all the same. Uh, they all look the same. But it's three pairs of socks, actually. And these are the brand Copper Soul. They are made in the USA. And uh, they're apparently 58% copper poly, 26% polyester, 15% nylon, 1% lycra spandex. Uh, there are uni this is a unisex size. I don't know if they have multiple sizes or not, but this is a unisex size 911, 9 to 11. And so it fits men's shoe sizes 3 through 9, and it fits women's shoe sizes 4 through 10. I happen to wear a 7.5, so this is good for me. And there is a style number on here. I don't know if that's helpful to you or not, but the style number is CSCU. Dash two zero five one dash WM one dash LF. Okay, so I want to tell you what they told me about the product first because there is some information that they gave me, and I'm blind as a bat, so let me blow this up and see if I can read it for you. Okay, so um, these socks were basically designed to help prevent or get rid of athlete's foot, apparently. And so the statistics that they gave me are that 70% of all people will develop athlete's foot at some point in their life. It says, with copper sole socks, you can put your worst foot fears to rest when you wear them at least eight hours a day for around four weeks. They're the only socks that contain EPA-registered Cupron antifungal fibers. These special yarns are infused with copper ion technology, which prevents and eliminates athlete's foot fungus on the sock killing 99.9% .9 of it after 12 hours of contact. So if you wear these the way they're instructed to wear, which is at least eight hours a day for about four weeks straight, you are supposed to be able to basically kill off any foot fungus you might have or um, just prevent yourself from getting foot fungus if you were maybe at risk for getting it, I guess, by wearing these. It says, even if you're sure your feet are fungus free, you'll be wowed by what these socks can do the Cupron antifungal fibers also eliminate and prevent foot odor, rejuvenating your feet while improving their appearance and elasticity. After only four weeks of wear, you'll notice a huge dif difference. So apparently they will help prevent foot odor and rejuvenate your feet as well if you wear them for four weeks. They're currently only available online, so I am going to put the link for them down in the information bar below. They're hoping or they have plans for them to be in stores next year. So you will be able to find them next year in stores, but for right now you can only order them from their website. And it does say in order to experience the full benefits of copper sole socks, you'll need to wear them for at least eight hours a day. And they do suggest that you could wear them to bed every night and, you know, not wake up with stinky feet as well. So um, if you like to sleep with your socks on, you can do that with these. And then washing instructions, they're safe to wash at any temperature setting. They're safe to dry at any temperature setting, but it says if you are using the hottest setting, don't dry them for more than 30 minutes. And they're safe to wash with bleach. You're not supposed to dry clean these, and you are not supposed to use fabric softeners or laundry detergents that contain silicone. So you do need to check um, your detergents and make sure there's no silicones in your detergent. I'm assuming that the silicone probably breaks down or neutralizes or um, possibly coats and covers up the fabric so that it's no longer able to do what it's supposed to do. That would be my guess. Okay, so I'm going to open these now and just kind of give you my first impression on how they feel. Um, one thing I do want to kind of say, I, when I first opened these before I really started reading about them, I was like, well, oh, these are kind of an interesting looking sock because the way that they're woven is interesting. Okay, so right off the bat, um, they're nice and thick and cushy. It almost feels like 
the bottom of the sock is padded or something in a way. Now it doesn't necessarily feel padded, but it feels like there are many, many multiple layers of um, soft woven material in there, or even almost like a, uh, what, what might be like some kind of a mesh bed or something woven in between two layers of the sock or something, but there's definitely a squish and a cushion to the sole of the sock. So here's what the sock looks like, you know, white on the top, kind of your classic athletic style here. It has some ribbing here and it's a little bit different here. And then this brown kind of is woven through here, but it's different on the bottom and it's thicker on the bottom. The first thing that I noticed about the bottom was that it almost was like a rough weave where some of the weaving is tight and some of it is loose. And, um, you know, at first I was almost like, I don't know, do I like that or do I not like that? But who's going to see it? I mean, it's going to be inside your shoe. Um, it doesn't look bad, but it was just interesting. It was almost like, um, you know, you're almost wondering, is it supposed to do that? Or they're all the same way. But anyway, it just caught my attention and I thought it was interesting. Um, the seaming does not feel like it's hard. There is a seam at the toe, but it doesn't feel like it's the kind that's hard or, um, you know, there's, it's not like a band of seaming on the inside that kind of rubs blisters on your toe. There is a little M here on the inside. I don't know what that means or if it means anything at all, but it's inside of both of them. And let me just put my hand in and I'll tell you what it feels like on the inside. Um, the inside is not as soft as I was expecting. It's not like, uh, it doesn't feel like fleece on the inside. Let me turn it inside out for you to see. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of like loops of the yarn or the, whatever threading they use to make it is looped over and over and over again. So that might, that's probably where the, the, some of the cushioning feel comes from. So can you see that? It's almost like when they were weaving it, they just made these loops, like a million little loops of this thread and piled them all up on each other. So interesting here, there is a seam here where the toe seam is. Um, I don't know. It doesn't seem like something that would be too irritating. I'm surprised. I think I expected these to feel softer on the inside. They're not hard or harsh or rough. You know, it's not like, uh, for us beauty girls, it's not like, the difference between natural brush hairs and synthetic ones or anything like that. It's, it's not harsh in any way, but it's just weird. I think I was expecting more of like a fleecy, soft cottony kind of feel. And it's, it's a little, it's just a little different than that. It's kind of like when you rub a sheep or something, they're not, they're not exactly the way you expect them to feel. It's kind of what this reminds me of. So, um, anyway, those are my copper sole socks and so I'm going to be wearing them. I don't have a problem with athlete's foot, or at least not that I know of anyway, <laughs> and I don't have particularly smelly feet. Um, so I don't know if I can really report on that kind of stuff, but I definitely can report back to you on, you know, how they feel and how it feels to wear them and what, how warm they are and comfort and all that kind of thing. So I will do that for you. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, make sure you comment below and let me know, and I will um, be sure to report back at some point for you on that. So I'm thinking these would make a great gift or stocking stuffer for a son who is maybe an athlete or who would be in a situation where they would have, you know, their feet would be sweating a lot, or for, um, do you have somebody who's in the military and who is, you know, <laughs> overseas somewhere and you can send them care packages. This might be a great thing to go in their care package. This might be really good for them in their boots when they're doing, you know, long walks and wherever they are in the desert or what have you. <laughs> um, it might be good for, you know, do you have a daughter who's not totally into uh, taking care of herself yet? <laughs> you know, is a, a tween or preteen and uh, hasn't quite learned the art of the daily showers and the makeup and hair routine. Um, do you, you know, 
does your husband wear the same shoes all the time and the shoes stink worse than the feet do but <laughs> you need to do something about it or who you won't buy sandals for because nobody should ever have to see their feet in public <laughs> you know, or what have you um or i don't know they might just be some comfortable socks maybe they're just good socks just for anybody and you know nice and warm and they're different and it just might be something interesting that somebody that you know might want to try so you know if you're if you have any of that kind of thing in mind then i would say give them a shot and um, i am putting the link to their website so you know where to go to buy down in the information bar below i don't get any kind of commission or anything i wish i did but i don't um, and i do have a coupon code for you and you can save 50 percent so um, only on one pair of socks but it's still you get half off that's nobody ever gives 50 percent so the coupon code is CSCU615 and it expires uh, June 30th of next year, 2015. So it's limit one coupon or one coupon code for one pair and it cannot be combined with any other offers. Um, so like I said, I'm going to put the link down in the information bar for you. I mean, go take advantage of the 50% off, and, you know, if you do that, let me know. Come back and let me know. If you try these, let me know what you think of them. I'd be interested to know. All right, um, that's it. Don't forget to ask me your questions down in the comments, or if you want to know how these work out for me, then let me know. Otherwise, I will assume that you don't care, and I won't mention them again <laughs> down in the comments. And if you're new to my channel, then subscribe. And obviously, as always, just come say hi and tell me how you're doing because that's really what I'm interested in knowing. All right, I will see you next time. Bye.